So basically, the Chiefs have a couple, uh, some ground to make up in these last couple games. Uh, we got three games left, and uh, Chiefs are, are indeed in seventh place. I just looked at, checked that out. Uh, all right, so let's get into the power. Uh, well, let's get into the games uh, that happened last week. The Huskies took on Missouri Tigers. The Huskies uh, won their game versus Utah in overtime. That was a great game. Uh, Missouri lost to Kentucky. Uh, so straight up, the Huskies win. They move on to 6-1. and one. Missouri falls to 2-5. and five. And I got Missouri, uh, South Carolina on right now. And if, you know, I'm going to actually use this game. If Missouri wins this game, um, I'll consider keeping them in the 12th uh, Warrior League next year. But if they lose this game, because they haven't won in their conference until, or since, I think they just said 13 months. They haven't won anybody, they haven't beat anybody in the SEC until, or since, um, 13 months ago. So I, I can't, I'm sorry Missouri. You know, first of all, I let you in because I already had a Tigers in my league, the LSU Tigers. I almost didn't want to have two Tigers, but I made an exception in your case. But if you lose this game, you're done. You're out. So you better win today's game if you even want my consideration. That's just how I roll. That's how I do things around here. <clears throat> all right. Because there's, there's plenty of other college teams that would be uh, worthy of being in my fantasy league, and you're just... You're pretty much a loss every freaking time, so what's even the point? You've won, you've won two games in my league, and I don't even know if you actually won those games or if you just had a tiebreaker and won by virtue of that. So, um, oh, and by the way, in the power rankings, Missouri is number twelve. They fell from eight to twelve, so that's just a little bit of a heads up on Mizzou. You better win your game against the Gamecocks, otherwise you're done. <clears throat> Second game is the Chiefs versus uh, LSU. LSU had a bye, so Oklahoma filled in for them. Uh, both teams won their games. However, uh, the Chiefs' defense only allowed 14 points against the Colts, and uh, Oklahoma only allowed 24 points. Well, they actually allowed 24 points, so the Chiefs win that on tiebreaker. One more game, the Chiefs win on a tiebreaker. So um, normally they're losing on tiebreakers. Good job, Chiefs. You you move up to three and four. LSU is four and three. Uh, Tennessee versus Michigan was my third game. Tennessee did a good job. I told them to get. Um, they were the twelfth warrior, being in twelfth place. I told them to get their butts in gear, and they did. They beat the Jaguars, and Michigan also won their game, um, beating Michigan State, which I always love when that happens. However. Even though Michigan won in real life, which I like, they lost in my fantasy league uh, because they allowed the Spartans 23 points and Tennessee only allowed the Jags 22 points. So by one point, Tennessee beats Michigan. So good. congratulations, Tennessee. You got off the snide. You're no longer the 12th Warrior. Mizzou just uh, claimed that, that spot. Uh, and they... Like I just mentioned, they have a tough, uh, tough battle ahead in real life today against the Gamecocks of uh, South Carolina. So we're moving on to the next three games. Um, you had the Jaguars, which I just spoke of. They won their game. Oh, actually, they lost their game. Um, and then you had uh, Seattle playing. They lost their game to New Orleans, which that was an exciting game on the week over the weekend. Um, by virtue of, let's see, who ended up winning this game? Well, Seattle ended up winning because uh, they had the closest matchup. If both teams lose, it, it goes on uh, who had the closest matchup. So uh, Seattle only lost by five, and the Jags got blown out 36-22 to over the Titans. So Seattle wins their game. They're 4-3. and three. The Jaguars uh, fall to 2-5. and five. Next up, you have uh, New Orleans versus UCLA. UCLA was on by, so uh, ASU stood in for them. ASU got spanked, and uh, New Orleans won. So New Orleans wins, ASU loses. New Orleans uh, moves on to 2-5. and five. They take that game. UCLA, by proxy of ASU, dropped to 3-4. and four. Now, along with Mizzou, UCLA is another team that's just falling, free-falling. Uh, UCLA was number five in my rankings um, as of 
uh, last week, and coming up, uh, they dropped to eight. So, and then I don't know if UCLA is going to win another game the rest of the year. So, um, that's also putting in jeopardy their division uh, winning record of Washington, Michigan, and uh, UCLA all being in the division of Team Adidas. Um, they were the winners this week again. So they've won six weeks, uh, lost zero weeks, and tied one week. But if UCLA continues to free fall, we might actually have a new division winner. You have the uh, NCAA North, the NCAA South, the NFL West, and the NFL East. So for quite some time, the NCAA North, Team Adidas, has been kicking butt. So we'll see if that changes anytime soon. Uh, we're getting into uh, the final game, which was Florida State, which barely lost to Clemson, unfortunately. Oh, that, hurt, that, that game hurt me. And then you have uh, the Rams, who were on a bye. Lots of teams on bye weeks last week. Uh, luckily, we get them all back this week. They lost to, uh, well, okay, so Florida State lost, and the Rams um, had the Eagles playing for them. Eagles lost to the Cowboys, which was uh, a bit unexpected for me. So both teams lost. However, uh, Florida State only, uh, oh, so in the event that both teams lose, the closest matchup um, ends up winning over, overall. And Florida State lost by three. The Eagles lost by six. So Florida State, you are the winner. So you move up to three and uh, four and three. And uh, the Rams, um, by virtue of the Eagles losing for them, drop to four and three. Uh, just to touch on New Orleans' overall schedule or ranking, they're two and five, uh, and UCLA is now three and four. All right, so uh, next video here, we're going to go ahead and get into the power rankings and the week eight matchups. Thanks for watching.